He comes from a motorsports crazy family. He is a former Formula One driver and he feels right at home in the DTM. Markus Winkelhock. In 2008 he got six points and came in 12th in the driver's ranking. I think it was a good season for Markus Winkelhock. It has to be said that the name Winkelhock certainly belongs in the DTM. I drove for years with Joachim, his uncle. Markus is always ready to provide us with spectacular scenes. In the first half of the season, the Audi driver had great success. Coming in sixth at Oschersleben was his best result of the season. By and large, I'm satisfied with the way the year went. It was better at the beginning. The last three races can really be forgotten about, but as far as speed's concerned, I was always up there with the rest. Oschersleben was a good race and Mugello was good too. I made it to the third qualifying there. At the start of the season, the races were a bit better, and towards the end, I got increasingly unlucky. Markus Winkelhock. In 2008, he provided us with all kinds of spectacular maneuvers. Markus tends to be too wild sometimes, that's when he overdoes things, it happens in the qualifying and then in the race itself, he uses the accelerator too often. Here he waited cleverly and he saw that Bernd Schneider and Mike Rockefeller were really getting in each other's hair. So he simply waited until he got his chance, a very clever move. But there were also moments that made everyone hold their breath. Here Marcus had some damage. You can see that the rear right tire has exploded and then when he started braking in the fastest section of the Lausitz ring, he still managed to retain control of the car, rather artistically in fact, then it was straight into the wall of the pits and luckily he didn't hit anyone. Will Winkelhock be ready for a new Audi in 2009? Reuter is still reserving his judgment on that one. Basically, I'd say that he does have the chance of a new car, but in terms of the competition within the team, I think he simply has to become more stable. That's why I can certainly imagine him driving a year-old car once again. Markus Winkelhock, he is motorsports crazy and his friendly engaging manner makes him a great addition to the DTM. In 2009, he should do better than 12th place in the overall rankings.